You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. Welcome back to Black Tree on TV. I'm your girl, Alex Hudgens, and we are your number one source for urban entertainment. You know what that means, right? We keep it hot. And does it get any hotter than Johnny Gill? Now, every artist, or hopefully most artists, as time progresses and they mature as artists, their perspective changes or they evolve as an artist. How would you say your perspective has changed since the last album you released or how you've evolved or progressed as an artist? You know, you just live more. Every day we live more, we experience more. And so when I'm writing and singing, it's coming from experience. So there's a place that I'm at today after 16 years that I, that I wasn't uh, 16 years ago. So um, it's just that every experience that you go through with life uh, uh, is a part of my, my music and it's a part of who I am. And what's your process when you're creating a new album? Do you write your own lyrics or do you collaborate with you know, other writers? I write, sometimes I collaborate. We do whatever the creative process uh, requires. It's like, it goes in all different directions. I mean, you know, sometimes it's the song that comes, the track comes, sometimes it's the lyrics, it's the melody. Sometimes it's somebody that comes up with an idea. It just comes, it can come from anywhere. So you just always have to be open and ready to receive it from whichever direction it comes from. So tell us why you titled the album Still Winning. It was a combination of things. And people are asking me over the 16 years of my absence from recording, uh, are you still in the business? Are you still singing? What are you doing? And it's like, and I've been all over the world. I, you know, tour all over. And one of the things when I put it in, to put everything in perspective was to be after 16 years having an opportunity to come out and present some new new, uh, new music to the world. Um, people uh, wondering where I've been and what I've been doing. Uh, to have that opportunity to do that and at the same time do what I enjoy doing the most, and that's performing live. It was all these things, and I'm still standing here today doing what I've been doing for 30 years. I mean, it says it all in, this, in, in a nutshell that, hey, through the blessings of God, I'm still here. So no matter what you think about me, I'm still winning. It seems that we can't get it right. You've been stressing. Let me be a teacher and give you a lesson tonight. I've been a fan for a minute. You gotta love Johnny Gill. Something about that old school R&B just gets me all. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's switch gears and talk to the funniest guy on the planet these days, Kevin Hart, who talks about wearing dresses. What? Now, we talked last year also for five year engagement and we talked about this, this theme going around in the black community about black comedians wearing dresses. <laughs> yeah. You you went on SNL and did the Covision there, you caught some caught some flack for it. Do you feel like it's unfair that black comedians might have to answer for stuff that like Robin Harris doesn't have to answer for? Or? No, you know what? I was actually I was actually one of those comedians that said, no, I wouldn't wear a dress. There's no way I would wear a dress. And, and then when proposed with the opportunity of what I felt was funny, I said, oh, that's funny, I'm gonna do it. Oh, Kwanzaa is, is relevant. Yeah, that's funny. She's small. I can do the whole thing. It'll be funny. Uh, I think now, knowing about the opportunities, that that can be thrown at you. It's all about choice. You know, nobody makes you do anything. Nobody says, this is what you got to do. This is the only way that you're going to do it. Nobody made Martin put on the dress in Big Mama's house. Nobody made Tyler Perry put on the dress as Medea. Nobody made Jamie Foxx put on the dress as Wanda. And nobody made Martin do it as, as Shanae. You know, it was a choice. Uh, and on Saturday Night Live, you know, it was a choice that I made. So I think it's all about your, your pick of what's funny to you and what you feel will be funny to others. And I will say that's the knowledge that I now have and understand. But from the outside looking in, you always go, oh, all right, all right, I ain't gonna do it. Ain't no way, uh, uh, why? Why I gotta do it? I ain't gonna compromise myself, for what? I am who I am. But then you're in a movie, and then it calls for a funny scene. Hey, what if you went in this way? And if it's actually funny, it's funny. So I, at the end of the day, I think funny is funny. You can't put rules and regulations. That was interesting. Talk about some uh, insight. At least he keeps it really, really real. And I mean, I wear dresses most of the time, so. Okay, up next, Fife goes ham about his time with A Tribe Called Quest. And we have an exclusive first look at the new horror flick, Deliver Us From Evil. You're watching Black Tree on TV. Stay tuned. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. 